Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous uh, 1954. Got the owner here, he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. How are we doing today? Huh? Great day, it's yeah. very nice day. Mild uh, for a, a very change. Very mild day, it's yeah. overcast. <clears throat> uh, but I think that brings out the paint job. I do too, yeah. yeah. And this is a graphite pa gray paint job. And uh, the car is Lower in the back two inches. Mm-hmm. Because it's a great stance. Dual exhaust. Fenton headers. 239 V8 engine. Uh, the glass in this car is tinted. So it's all tinted glass. And What do we got under the hood? The body of the car is in very nice condition. It's very, there's literally no rust on this car. Yeah, very nice fitment of all the panels. All the panels fit nice. All the glass, all the weather stripping around the glass is nice. It has electric wipers, but I think they came with electric wipers. And they work fine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> got uh, turning signals up front. I like the turning signals. Yeah, but you have uh, yeah you have turn signals in this car. They don't self cancel, or you have to cancel. <laughs> I think they're missing a part there on the steering wheel. So, but other than that, the grill, all the chrome, is almost like new. It's beautiful. It's got a few little nicks in it, but you know it's wear and tear. But all the chrome on this car has been. This is a body off restored car. It yeah, looks like it, it was is. done. The body was taken off because you, there's no way you could paint the chassis as black as it is and not get it off the body of the car. Yeah. The car is on. You just can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> Skirts look really nice too. And the interior is just as you, it's a, it's been done over, but it's what you would have gotten in mm -hmm. 1950 if you bought the car from the dealership. They would have put this interior in the car. It's a fabric interior, nice gray, mm -hmm. gray carpeting. Seat belts all the way around. Yeah, yeah it has seat belts. And of course, it, uh, one of the good features, it has vintage air conditioning and heating. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. Yeah. Actually, the first flathead I've seen with air. Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> 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 the back is nice and clean. It's almost like nobody ever used it. Really nice, yeah. Love how all the lights work and the handles, yeah, all the, the switches. All the side lights work. Mm -hmm. Everything works. It's got the correct style headliner as well. Yes. And you'll notice there are no smudges or stains in the headliner, so there's no leaks in this car. Mm -hmm. Custom stereo. Yeah, the uh, yeah, it's a, it, but it doesn't it doesn't play discs so. though. <laughs> so a lot of guys will probably update that. It's easy to swap it out, but yeah, and uh, but it, it, it has a nice tone to it. The... Mm -hmm. Front and rear speakers. Front and rear speakers, yes. And... Let's check out under the hood. It's got a hood release inside. Get the reflection on this chrome, which was which came with a lot of these cars. And she is here. Flathead, nice clean flathead engine. Doesn't burn any oil. Doesn't smoke. Hmm. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard that. It's <laughs> not <laughs> a flathead. I like the switch he put here. Yeah, we got a little light there so you can see your oil dipstick too a little so bit better. smart. Change the oil uh, fuel filter too. Is that the oil filter? That's your oil filter there. That's a new new cartridge type oil filter. Mm -hmm. your fu uh, the fuel filter is right here, the little one. That's uh, yeah. That's all you really need. Yeah, and then you got a mechanical fuel pump. Yeah, I just put the new fuel pump in there. Air compressor. Uh, air conditioning compressor. Monster aluminum radiator. 
Yeah. The nice big CFM electric fan looks like a 37, 3500. I don't think 3, they could have put a bigger compressor in here. No way, man. God. Looks like a Champion aluminum radiator. It's a high end radiator. Is that what it is? Yeah. I know it's new. That much. This is all new. All the weather hood. Yeah. Look seal at the rubbers and everything. New. All the gas getting along the hood over here as well. It's all new. Hmm. The hood flow, that's all new. Oh yeah, look at that. All the windows fit good. You got front and rear wings, right? Yeah, front and rear wings in this car. Oh, cool. I like the uh, Fenton headers too. Yeah. Leading out to the glass backs. Dual exhaust with glass pack mufflers. Really nice tone to them. Mm-hmm. Can't beat the header. Uh, glass backs with... Uh, mm -hmm. This, this is a brand new battery. I just put this battery in here in June. That's brand new battery. Mm -hmm. 12 volt system. This is a 12 volt system. Yes, this has been converted to 12 volts. Electronic ignition. Uh, it, uh, it's a magnetic pickup. It's not fully electronic ignition, but there's no points in this car. It has a magnetic pickup in there. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, it's fired up. It's a three-speed manual with overdrive, so it's uh, technically four-speed. Jeez, you barely touched the key. Yeah. Sounds good. Such a classic sound, you know? Don't see any smoke no there. smoke. How'd you do that? <laughs> good rings. Is that right? Good ring? I took a, I tell you, I took a compression to 126 in each so That's perfect. It is perfect. How's the vacuum? The vacuum is 20 inches and steady. It's steady. Wow. So nice. The gauges are really pretty too. They all work? What's that? The gauges? Yeah. Huh? Well, no. Um, they, for some reason, mm -hmm. they didn't put, they, this gauge works, but it reads hot. Mm -hmm. You have to go by, they put these spare gauges in here. Battery voltage and water temperature. <laughs> so we did all new wiring too, it converted it to 12. There's a lot of new wiring in this car. Well, it looks like the clock even works. No, the clock does not work, unfortunately. Sorry it's about that. Right, tw right twice a day though, right? <laughs> yeah, when you look at it. it? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. When you're driving at 54, who cares about time? Not perfect, but it's... It's the nicest one I've ever seen, Jim. For somebody that maybe, you know, they don't want to spend a whole lot of money, want to get in to the classic car. Yeah. Can we take it for a quick ride? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go. Okay. The inner spring seats and you really sink down. Look at the floors on this car. It's pretty modest. This is the nicest 54 I've ever seen. It's got 411 gears and then the final ratio drops down a lot. You know, it cruises nicely at like 60 on the highway, 65. This is a third brake light here. And also uh, lights up the license plate. As you can see, all the chrome is really, really nice. The emblems, the lenses, all of the weather stripping. Super nice. The felts in the doors. Very, very nice. Very nice uh, attention to detail. All the rubbers are real nice. Rockers.
door shut so nice. Yep. So what's the final gear ratio in overdrive? In overdrive, the final ratio is 289. We own a high wheel. I got it in overdrive now. Uh, you have to get used to the overdrive because there's no engine braking. Once you drop below 21 miles an hour, mm -hmm. the car actually will go a little faster because there's no engine braking. Oh, gotcha. Windows roll up so nice too, like See, butter. Let off. Really nice felts in here yeah, too. We can go this way. I'll okay. take you onto uh, Lori Road. We can go go a little bit. Man, I can't beat that sound. Hmm? Can't beat that sound. Brakes feel real nice too. Brakes feel real nice. brakes and they're not power brakes you gotta lean on them but they do stop Yeah, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Feel free to give me a call at 631-339-0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website, so weebyautos.com. Thanks a lot.